This morning was supposed to be a girl's trip to get nails done. But before this family got to an open salon, they were detained by Aurora police. I saw a car next to me with four girls in it. Uh, feet were up on the dash, it was real cute. And next thing I know, the police pull up silently behind them and had guns drawn on the children. Jennifer Wirt started recording on her phone when the police handcuffed the kids and put them face down on the ground. <laughs> that's police brutality. I don't give a damn what nobody say. That's police brutality. From right to left, the video shows a 12-year-old, a 17-year-old, a 14-year-old, and a 6-year-old. She's screaming for her mother. And I'm trying to calm her down. Police say they detained this family because they got a report of a stolen vehicle from the parking lot at East Islip Ave and Buckley Road. But Brittany Gilliam's car wasn't what they should have been looking for. Like, he's like something about the car being reported stolen. And I was like, this happened months ago. You guys cleared it. We had to pick up the car the next day, the very next day. Like, you know, so I'm not understanding what's going on. Brittany's car was stolen in February and found the next day. The vehicle that was actually reported stolen on Sunday morning was a motorcycle with Montana plates. It just happened to have the same license plate number as Brittany's Colorado plate. There's no excuse why you didn't handle it a different type of way. Aurora police say they are trained to do what's called a high risk stop when contacting a stolen car. That means weapons are drawn and the people in the car are told to lie on the ground. It's like they don't care. Who am I going to call when my life is in danger? The family filed a complaint against Aurora police. They want protocol to change so this won't happen to other kids. In Aurora, Katie Eastman, 9 News. Aurora police offered their apologies to the family. The department is looking into the complaint and will determine if it is investigated within the district or rises to the level of an internal affairs investigation.